What's up YouTube? Top Tactic Fishing here. Welcome to another episode. So we're here in Wilmington, Delaware on the Brandywine Creek and we're going to be doing a carp episode today. Uh, I was actually here maybe a couple weeks ago and I got skunked. Um, I haven't really fished here a whole lot during the winter time. The weather has been really bad when I do have some free time off. So I figure try to get out today. It's 60 degrees. It's a nice day. We're going to try to give it a few hours today. So we're going to be using my three rods. And you can see there's some falling down uh, trees here, which might be holding some carp in this area. So we're going to give it a shot. We're going to get our lines tossed out here. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So for our first one, we're going to be using uh, Ronnie Rig here, Pop-Up Oily, CC More, NS1 CC More. Um, pop up oily here so ronnie rig like i said we're gonna try three different baits today too and like i said as soon as i rig these up we're gonna be cast them we're gonna be casting these out okay and we're not using our pod today like i normally use just because we really are going to be scattering these baits out we're just gonna be trying to catch something it's been pretty pretty rough here the weather has been um, I was actually here a few days ago and the water was all frozen over here. So it's been pretty tough. All right. But luckily all the ice has broken off of here. And we're gonna start our scattering process here in this specific area. And then we're gonna go all the way down that way. good cast there and with this middle rod or the second rod rather we're gonna be using three pieces of linear bait pineapple ice cream corn perfect cast there we do have some current today so I may have to bring up that first one and put a stronger lead on there. Just because I don't want the, the line to peel out too, too much from the current. All right, so for this last one, we're using three pieces of uh, Juicy Pear uh, Tiger Nuts, okay, from Linear Bait. We'll be a low tide around seven o'clock, but we won't be out that long. Perfect cast. All right, guys, so all the rods are out. So starting from this one here, this is three pieces of tiger nuts on there. Okay, using the method lead, pack bait. Okay, and then we're going down about 20 yards. This one has three pieces of pineapple ice cream corn. Then going all the way down over here. We are using the CC Moore NS1 pop up oily on a Ronnie rig here. So there is a current, so a little, little stronger than what, I, than what I would like, but we're going to give it some time here. Hopefully, we can get us a carp. This could be a fish. Yeah, I think we got something on here. I think this might be a catfish. This is actually on the tiger nuts. I'm 
trying to see what this is. Yep, catfish. A decent one here. Tighten up that drag and let's bring him up. All right. Not a bad one here. It's good to finally see some life in here. All right. This is right on the tiger nuts here. As you can see that hookup, pretty nice hookup there. This is my first time actually catching a fish on the tiger nuts. So not bad. We're gonna go ahead and get a nice picture for that one there. You know, I'm just glad that we caught something here. It's like the curse of the <laughs> catfish but at least there's a little bit of life in here with this cold weather that we've been having so I would definitely take any fish for that matter there she is beautiful catfish you can see it's one whisker is huh, shorter than the other so that must have That's interesting, never seen the catfish with the missing whisker there. It's a nice size, it'll go, probably go about a pound. Pound and a half, we'll release it. There he goes. We're gonna get this one back out there. Catfish. Yeah. Another catfish over here. Maybe a little bit bigger than the first one we caught. Yeah, another catfish here. Be nice to get a carp though. And that's all we're after today is a carp. Go ahead and bring this one in. Oh, he popped off right at the bank there. Just trying to pick him up, but that's all right. Not really targeting the, the catfish, so that doesn't really matter so much. Still got our three pieces of pineapple corn on there. Fish on. Another catfish. Laying this boy. All right, it's been kind of a slow day, guys. We're just kind of wrapping up here with everything. Haven't had any carp bites. Just channels. This is our third bite. Third hookup, technically, but.
second one broke off right at the bank. Not broke off, but just unbuckled. And this one might do it because we're going to have to lift all the way up with this. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Not what we're targeting, but uh, fish is a fish. I'm gonna release this one. There he goes. All right, guys, that's all we have for today's video. It's starting to get dark. We were out for about three hours. Uh, we have three three bites, uh, three hookups. Uh, the second the second catfish uh, unbuckled at the bank as I was lifting it up, but. Um, we did land two catfish, no carp, unfortunately. Uh, but it's nice to see some fish biting this time of the year. It's a warm day, like I said. Uh, we we're trying to scatter our baits out a little bit today, which is an effective uh, method for catching carp, but we were shut down in the carp department today. But um, they are in here, so it might be a little bit early for this creek for the carp to be moving in here. Um, so we're going to... Maybe give it a couple more weeks in this area. Wait for the weather to get warm up a little bit since it is, uh, this is the first real nice day that we've had. And with the weather having um, dropped really low last week with, with the water being completely frozen, this is actually the real first day where the water's kind of um, free flowing a little bit. So I appreciate you watching this video. I appreciate you, um, all your support and I have a lot of catfish and carp videos um, on my channel so go ahead and check those out and like and subscribe if you haven't and um, we'll see you next time on Top Tactic Fishing. Take care.